Hi, I'm Krista Vardy. I'm from uh, I'm the delegate for the Kentucky TESOL to Advocacy Day. I'm a professor at Georgetown College and the immediate past chair of the elementary interest no, section. No. Yeah, and really, really I'm Donna Mahalja Kopel. I am the delegate from Penn Tissel East for Advocacy Day 2012, and I'm also the adult intersection chair for Penn Tissel East. Hi, I'm Leslie Kirshner Morris, and I'm chair of the Intersection Leadership Council, and I'm also here representing the great state of Pennsylvania. Um, this is a wonderful opportunity to be here with our many colleagues and professionals. I, um, I initially came here to serve and exercise leadership and advocacy, but um, more so than doing that, I noticed that I'm learning from my colleagues and from all the wonderful professionals in our training, and I can get take back so much home to my affiliate in Kentucky that I never expected to get. So I'm so excited to be here. I'm very excited to participate in uh, TESOL Advocacy Day. I'm here to talk about the Workforce Investment Act and how it impacts our students in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Um, I, I found the um, information session with the congressional aides to be extremely helpful. Um, did a lot of homework before I came, but they were really instrumental in helping us plan how we will talk about these important issues with the congressmen and the senators. Hi, I'm very excited also. This is my first TESOL Advocacy Day, and it's illuminating to be with my colleagues here today across the states to talk about the critical issues for, um, for high school students, for undocumented uh, students who need a college education and to understand um, some of the most important aspects of reauthorization for No Child Left Behind. To be able to hear from the legislators about issues that they have raised on Capitol Hill and some of the bills that are coming to the floor and how they need to be revised is very educational for me. So I'm um, here as an advocate for, for all of our students, especially our students in Philadelphia, um, because that's, that, that's my population and I want to make sure that um, before I leave Washington that um, our voice has been, been heard. In, uh, the last thing I would like to add is that um, I just recently became an American citizen and I still um, feel very strongly about having a voice for those people who do not have a voice or don't have the luxury of having become citizen and um, who need somebody to speak up for them and I see so much advocacy in my colleagues here that it's heartwarming and hopefully we can make a difference with our work here.